62662 for a long time now. Um, that has some requirements and we will be, um, ISO and uh, SAE will be releasing uh, uh, ISO SAE 21434 beginning next year. Mm -hmm. So these two things will also have some impact in your, in your process landscape, in your V model. And how, uh, how, do you, how would you harmonize these three different aspects, A-SPICE, ISO 26262, ISO 21424? Yeah, that's a good point, yeah? Harmonization of these different standards, yeah? There are, are, are large communities who have pros and cons about this harmonization. Yeah? So uh, some say, okay, these are completely different topics, spies and safety, cybersecurity and so on. So it must be handled and defined in, in different standards and maybe may, may also be implemented within a company yeah, by different people. Yeah? Leads to the result that we have a, a quality responsible, a safety responsible, a security responsible, and they all define their own way to implement it. Yeah? Then the big challenge for the developers in the project is, okay, now I have three stakeholders. Yeah? And maybe they do not really align their approaches yeah? and their uh, expectations, yeah? uh, which leads to more effort within the project. So from my point of view, a good approach is yeah? to align, first of all, all that, uh, these inputs. Yeah? What are the requirements of automobile spice, of functional safety, of cybersecurity, and so on. And to find your own way of developing projects yeah? that uh, fulfills in an ideal way, all these standards. Yeah? Yeah, so the combination, the harmonization, yeah, is typically done by all the companies. Yeah? What would be great is if the standards themselves would be harmonized. Yeah? In other domains, like medical device, there is something like that, yeah, to harmonize uh, different standards dealing with similar topics in order to reduce the amount of requirements for the projects, yeah? if you have already harmonized standards yeah, as, an, as an input. And uh, we as Intex, yeah? Intex is defining the skills for assessors, the knowledge background and so on. Yeah? What must an assessor fulfill in order to be able to evaluate a, a development project in a good way. Yeah? And Intex is only defining the standard skills in order to, to, to judge if the software and system development is carried out in a good way. But the result is depending on, on, on certain other criteria like safety. Yeah? If I know I have to assess a, a safety relevant project, I need to know what is the main focus of safety in a project. Yeah? So I have to focus on examples and spot checks dealing with the safety relevant part. Yeah? If I'm not familiar with the safety standard, yeah, probably I will not uh, select these examples or I cannot really differ between the safety relevant part and the standard part. Yeah? So we need additional skills yeah, uh, within the assessment team in order to judge if also a safety or security related um, product is uh, implemented in, in a good way, yeah, in a systematic way. Yeah, so the, the requirements for assessors will probably change in the future yeah, a little bit. Yeah. VDA also uh, specialized a little bit the expectations. Yeah. So Intex in general uh, uh, said, okay, the assessor career from provisional, via competent to principal yeah, is depending on the assessment model. That's why provisional and competent assessors have also uh, to use the assessment model in the, in the title. So, mm. provisional assessor for automotive spice, competent assessor for automotive spice. Uh, starting with the principal level, yeah, which means you have several years of experience, Intex said, okay, such an assessor should have the skills to become familiar also with other assessment models. So, the principal assessor typically does not need to highlight the assessment model anymore. He is a principal assessor with sufficient knowledge and experience and he can also become familiar with other standards and use it in, 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 in these kind of projects, yeah? like uh, medical domain, for example. Yeah? There, is, there are also models uh, for, for medical device software and the principal assessor, yeah? in principle, it's possible to use also a medical device model. VDA said, no, for automotive, we expect that a principal assessor did the complete career starting from a professional level with automotive spies only. Yeah? It will not be accepted anymore, this kind of cross certification that a medical spies or test spies or ISO 20,000 spies assessor uh, will do uh, automotive spies assessments or even a CMMI appraiser. Yeah? In the past, it was possible uh, to do a cross certification from CMMI to spies or automotive spies. This is not allowed anymore. Huh? Mm. But it's okay that the domain is defining additional requirements. 